has laughed for 40 years, and she's a true trailblazer in the world of comedy. Her new comedy tour is called Live and Live It. Please welcome Margaret Cho. <laughs> excited I am that you're here because you've always been an inspiration to me like as a comedic actress and a stand-up so I, I'm not screaming because I would blow out the sound I'm so thankful that you're here oh I'm I so really... grateful for you I'm so inspired by you I love you girl I love you too and I have to say you I, I'm looking at you you look amazing you're 55 years old you look so good girl what a save thank you thank you, thank you. like now, you don't celebrate birthdays. You, you, you embrace your age, but you don't celebrate the birthdays. Every day is a celebration. Okay. You know, it's like, why do I have to wait for once a year? It's like every single day, because I'm still alive, which is a miracle. That's right. So, the best thing, the best thing. That is it. Now, you know, I'm looking at you, like your whole energy is very zen, it's very relaxed. Do you do, do you do like, <laughs> You do spa dates, Margaret. I do a spa. I do a spa dates. I'll go to the Korean spa. One time I was there, and they were. Um, everybody was like looking at me because I have a lot. I'm fully tattooed. My whole body's tattooed. Yeah. And so all of the people were like, they were like, look at all of the tattoos. And they, they, they were. Uh, this, then the, um, the receptionist came out. She was, excuse me, I'm sorry. People here are really offended by your body. Oh uh, my gosh. We're gonna have to ask you to leave. And I'm standing there, and my um, hair down there. It, it, it absorbs a lot of water. So as I stood up, she's telling me to leave, but the, all I could hear was a... <laughs> like, just the water dripping on... I'm making a huge puddle on the ground, and I'm like... So, um, but, you know... <laughs> <laughs> that, that, it's just they're you know it, they're not Koreans are not used to it. They think it's like a like it's a gangster thing. Oh really? But I'm an old lady. I'm not a gangster. <laughs> I mean I wish. So did you? That like, would be good. When you got home, did you like did you call anybody? Well, you... I did a post on it online, and then the spa called me and they apologized and they invited me to come back. And I definitely before I went, I waxed. Uh -huh. So I had. <laughs> Great time. Didn't absorb any water that time. So I was, we're good. But Did you talk to your mom about it? She's like, I don't like tattoo. It's too, I don't like, I don't like, it's too, I don't like, I don't like. Meanwhile, she has her eyeliner tattooed and her eyebrows tattooed. Uh -huh. I mean, she's got the hardcore. She's got the hardcore tattoo. Yeah, practically tears from prison. You know, like she. <laughs> One thing I have to say, and just like, I would follow you around and you'd have like, you know, screenings of your specials at the theaters and I was always there in the audience. And But in your stand-up, you always would have your mom in there. So, and I love the relationship with her. So how is your mama doing? She's doing great. She uh, can't hear anything, so she's really, I'm not gonna get a hearing aid because I can't hear anything you say. I'm so happy now. <laughs> Sick of you! I don't have to listen anymore. I'm, I'm doing so good. She's like really happy, but it's she's doing great. She's 86. 86. So, oh my she's god. She's very happy. Like you took us through the whole gamut of your mother not knowing how to answer the, the answer machines and just her whole journey. But one thing I know, like she doesn't call you Margaret. She calls you by your Korean name. My Korean name is Mora. Mora, Mora, like that's how she, Mora, <laughs> Mora, that's my Korean name. Oh my God, so when she says it like three times fast. She, it's... she tries, Mora, 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 Mora. She tries to say, Mar when she says Margaret, it sounds, Margaret, uh -huh. Margaret. When she says Margaret, I know she's mad. Oh really? Margaret, <laughs> Margaret, you know, like. It's very, yeah, it's, but it, the Korean name is really like, to me, it's, like it's yeah. very, very, it's my heart. 
<laughs> yeah, oh my gosh, it is my heart too because I just love your mama when you like when you just honor her oh, in that way. You, you are the up. best. You've always been so supportive of me oh, for always. so long. I'm so so grateful for that. Like literally, you. I mean, just. You don't know what an impact you made on me because I would always come to the Laugh Factory. I was a struggling comic and I would watch you and I'd watch you on TV and I would always go, hi, Margaret, my name is Sherry. And you'd be so nice. And then I'd come to the theaters to see you and you take do a Q and A. I'd be like, hi, Margaret, my name is Sherry and I have a question. And so um, I, it just, I would watch you religiously on stage, how you pulled your family into the standup. And that's how, why I do my family just from watching you. And and you just like, you've always been really nice to me and you never knew, like I, I wasn't here. You just were kind to me. Oh, and I you. appreciate I that. I appreciate you. Girl. Thank you. Thank so you. To, to say, Margaret, that you are a trailblazer in comedy because you are. Like all of your accomplishments. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Do you? I feel like because, you know, when you were here, we didn't see a lot of Asian comedians. And now it's so many Asian comics out here. Yeah. How are you feeling about that? I love it. You know, I'm so grateful and proud that I got to, inter uh, you know, it introduced like the idea of, oh, we can do stand up to Aquafina and yes. Ali Wong and Bone Yang. Like they saw me and they were really inspired. So now I just beg them for jobs. <laughs> You know, I'm like, oh, you need it. You need me to play your mother on that, don't you? Like, oh you know, I definitely hit them up all the time, and so they're they're really generous to me too. But it's like they're going to be out there inspiring a whole new generation yes. of Asian American comedians and and people who are just different, who don't feel represented, can look to them and say, oh, we 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 have a place out there. We have a place at the table. We have a place on television and in the movies everywhere. And that they can say that you did that, but you know, you did that by watching you and being inspired by yeah. you. Yeah. It's like, you know, and you not and you don't stop touring. You don't stop doing stand-up. So you got another tour and it's called it's Live and Live It. Live and Live, live it. and Live, live it. and Live It. Okay, what do you live it about? It's I want the world to realize that drag queens are really important <laughs> and we need to protect drag queens. You know. Drag is really a constitutional right. Yeah. That they are all about the pursuit of happiness. Yes. They, we, we just need to protect. They're the, the most important part. For me, they're the most important part of the queer community because they mm. s celebrate and they represent our joy. Yes. And where we really laugh. And so I want this tour to be about standing up for them. All right, girl, I love it. <laughs> and you are going to be selling out and you're going to be doing your arenas. And I, and you know, you and I were both single. You've been single for seven years, and I think I, you know I'm I'm hitting I'm hitting some some time being single. Now you are. Do you like being single? I love it. Uh -huh. I mean, I you know I still get uh, there's it's still busy down there. <laughs> There's a lot of traffic going in and out. <laughs> but I don't like to, uh, I, I don't like to sort of stay in one place. I don't yeah. want to have the same, I don't need somebody in my house. Yes, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Are there like requirements that you have? Like w with, if you're gonna get with somebody? They need to have their own life. Yes. They have to have their own money. Yes. And they have to have, they have to know, like know themselves. Absolutely. You know, and be happy. with you. They can yeah. be intimidated. Right, they can't be intimidated. They, they can't, can't be intimidated. I don't like that. I, I mean, and they, they just need to just be like a mature. And they can be, yeah. I, I think, I like uh, over 40. Yes. But uh, I would say um, under that is a little tricky. I like The Bachelor. I like Jerry. Oh, I love Jerry. I love that Golden Bachelor Jerry. girl. Gary is so cute. He's and coming. For, he's coming Friday. Oh yeah, girl. yeah. I'm telling. I tell. And you know, it's like if I didn't wasn't doing what I do, I would want to be like one of the the Bachelorettes that's like on there. Would you? Well, you're too young. No, I'm not, we just like I'm a year older than you, girl. No. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Why we? Why do we look so young? We just look young. We do look young. It's like just women of color are just better. Cause we, you know. We just age we better. carry it very well. We age better. <laughs> we do. We're just better. We age. So how would your mother say it? We just look good. <laughs> we just look so good. So good. Margaret, I want to say I thank you so much for being here. Thank this you. means so much to me. Thank you so much. I love you too, girl. Y'all can see Margaret.
Chappelle performing at the New York Comedy Festival here. And for more info on the live and live it comedy tour, go to SherryShowTV.com. We're gonna have a good time.